Hello everyone, it's very odd that I appear in one of these videos. Um, so, welcome to another Live from the Workshop, and uh, as some of you may know, I previously made a 12 inch Rusty, um, which I sold recently, but with the funds I was able to buy this. This is another 18 inch Dalek. Uh, it is completely busted. It doesn't work at all. Um, I bought it off someone on eBay, and they said they weren't sure if it was if it was working or not. So it only cost me uh, about um, I think about forty pound. I think I paid for it, which is good for one of these. You know, these are you know can fetch two hundred pound upward mint in box. So uh, yeah, so I've had to fiddle around with it um, uh, with some of my spare remotes, and it just it doesn't work. I can't work out what's wrong with it. Um, it just doesn't work. So. Uh, even if it had worked, that would have been a bonus because I could have had some fun with it, but uh, my aim was to get one of these and turn this into Rusty. So I'm going to be making an 18 inch Rusty custom. So, uh, first things first, obviously, um, I have some modifications to do on the outside. Um, I've actually got some pictures of Rusty up on my uh, laptop over here for reference, because um, he's obviously at the Doctor Who experience at the moment and I'm very lucky to have that on my doorstep here in Cardiff. But uh, first things first, I've got to remove a couple of these globes um, to uh, make way for the uh, extra parts. And uh, just dirty them up a bit, do some modifications to the gun and the plunger arm. And go from there really. So, uh, let's get on with this.
And here is rusty finished or near as finished because I ran out of uh, cabling, blue cabling for the top, but I do have some more coming soon. So uh, I will be adding a few bits to it. But overall, he does look like rusty. I've given him all the bits on the side and I finally found a use for an I Ikea Allen key. <laughs> apart from its obvious use. Uh, so yeah, so uh, I've just made up several bits here. Um, this is built from scratch. I'm not, I haven't showed you how I've made these bits because I kind of feel like I already did that in my 12 inch Rusty Custom. So, you know, these smaller bits, I've just made them the same way. I've just scaled them up a bit. Um, the only thing that's different is this is made out of slightly different bits. Um, previously, I used, uh, I think some bits from uh, an old uh, 10th Planet Cyberman chest piece that I had spare. And I also used some of the bits on the gun for that. That's coming off loose already, I need to glue that back on. <laughs> That's the one problem with working with cards and things like that is it will eventually unravel of its own accord. Anyway, so uh, this lower part is made from a spray painted, um, a, a piece of a Paradigm neck ring just spray painted gold and then I've cut the section out and then this is an invasion Cyberman chest piece again just spray painted gold um, I just you know went through my box of spares see what I had and see what I can make up and that is what I had so moving around obviously we have cabling as I said I'm gonna add some more um, and then we've got uh, scorch marks the uh, half uh, destroyed um, manipulator arm with its piece that holds it together which is just a piece of uh, plastic card uh, dowling plastic card that I've cut in that uh, cut a slit down and then uh, put over the top gun is as standard all these little bits of wires are just bits of wires I had hanging around that's just a piece of card um, and then these bits are just spray painted gold uh, at five mil LEDs and then onto this side we have obviously the rings, uh, I've obviously drilled in a hole for where he's got that mark. Um, these ones, as you'll have seen, I've just taken these off and just changed the colour of them to make it look like they were just uh, around the edges. But then obviously when it comes to the loose ones, I've actually just cut these out of card and uh, stuck them on. So overall, there is uh, Rusty. As I said, I'm going to make a few more small alterations to him. Um, just adding some more wires and bits, but uh, overall I am really pleased with this and it is definitely one of, I think I'm inclined to say it's the best out of my custom 18 inch Daleks. Um, as I said, I have a I have a Dalek Guard, a Supreme and an Asylum Dalek, but I definitely think that Rusty is, is definitely the best custom I've done, um, just because there's a lot to him. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. A like, favorite, subscribe, share. It really helps me out a lot. And I shall see you all with another video very soon.